what would it look like if we spent our money during the Christmas season as though we actually believed that God had already given us everything that we need? That's the wonderful question that Pastor Ben posed to us this weekend in worship. And it's the one that I'm continuing to wrestle with, continuing to think about. Because often at Christmas time, we often ask the question, well, what can I get someone that maybe they don't need, that maybe they just want? But I think even if we ask ourselves and others, What could I get someone that they actually need? That even that somewhat misses the point here. See, in the book, they say this about spending less. They say, spending less does not mean spending nothing. Rather, we strive to thoughtfully evaluate what we support with our spending, and we allow our spending to support products, people, and causes that are worthy of being supported. It's about taking the moment to actually stop, to actually ask those questions of what is this product? Who makes it? How is it made? Is it really what someone actually needs? Is it worthy of our support? Is it worthy of us giving our dollars to? And so when we think about the fact that God has given us everything we need, it frees us. It frees us to spend less because we're not giving from a place of having to make sure that we meet some quota to make sure that we prove our love for someone to make sure that we meet some sort of standard rather we're free to give we'll talk about that next week but i want to give to you some ideas They write about these in the end of chapter 4. This is their few ideas to consider as we think about what it means to spend less this Christmas. And with Black Friday just a few days away, I challenge you to maybe choose one of these this week to think about, one of these things to wrestle with as you seek to spend less. They write, a few ideas to consider. First, get into the habit of asking a few more questions before spending your money. Second, develop a thoughtful approach to the histories of the products and companies you purchase from. Three, enter such a process with humility and resist the potential pride in thinking your way of approaching such a complicated matter is the only way. This conspiracy will only grow with winsome voices calling others to new places in thought. Three, set your budget, know your limits. If it's early enough, start saving for a debt-free celebration. Fourth, before you start buying, consider each person on your list. Think about your relationship and what significance it brings to your life. Fifth, consider your core values and whether what you are buying reflects those values. Sixth, consider drawing names, giving one less gift than last year, or maybe two. Seventh, talk openly and early with your family. You will be surprised how quickly they begin to understand your motives. In our experiences at each of our churches, it is often the children who let go of hyperconsumption before the grown-ups. I love that last one. Because I think a question they also ask is relevant here. That children struggle to connect their Christmas lists to Jesus. And I think that you and I would struggle too. You know, sure, there are stuff that I want. There are things that I know I don't need that I think would be nice to have. And when someone asks me for that Christmas list, how often, in what ways, does it have anything to do with Jesus? And I think if we're honest, it doesn't usually. And so one more thing, one more step, one more idea for you is what would it look like if your Christmas list had something to do with Jesus? Whether it was giving to an organization, giving to a charity, maybe even not having something. Because, you know, there are those people in my life that I don't know what to get that either I think they have everything they need already, 
that I could not give a meaningful gift to them, at least in a material way. And often I feel guilty about that, and I bet you do too. But I think this week challenges us to say that's okay, because all of us, not just that person, already have everything we need. And so what could we give? How could we spend less this year in light of that truth? So let me pray for you as you seek to spend less, to worship fully, to give more, and to love all this day. Lord Jesus, we thank and praise you that you have paid it all for us, Lord, that you have given it all, that we would be able to have everything we need for this body and life, just as you have promised us, Lord. And so as we spend this Christmas, I pray that you would create in us hearts of generosity, that we would think of others before ourselves, that we would spend less so that we can spend more when it matters, spend more when we should, Lord. Let us see the ways in which we spend, reflect our faith. Let us then change the ways in which we spend so that more would know your love in and through us, Lord. Bless us, go with us, even as we buy things this year. We pray in your name. Amen. The Lord be with you this week.